Welcome to Web Experience Factory Tutorial. In this tutorial I'll teach you, how to call web service using Web Experience Factory. I break this tutorial in two parts. In first part we see how to create a new Web Experience Factory project and create a provider model, which call our web service. In second part we'll see how we can consume this service in our service consumer or consumer model. So let's get started. Create a new workspace called Currency Converter. If you already have your workspace, then no need to create a new one. Here I create this for demonstration purpose only. Once the workspace has created, create a new Web Experience Factory project. Entering username and password and click on Test Connection. Make sure that your portal server has started otherwise Test Connection will not succeed. Our server configurations are OK. OK. Finish. Click Yes when it prompts for publishing the project. Once the project has published successfully, we get the message published was successful. Create a services folder under model folder. This folder consists all of our provider models. You have a number of provider models in your project. Inside services folder, we create an empty web experience factory model. First add a service definition builder and after giving name to it, click on add testing support. Then add Web Service Call Builder. This builder is used to call any web service. Provide the Whistle URL as shown inside Whistle URL, Input field and then click on Fetch Whistle. If Web Experience Factory is able to access the Whistle URL, it fetches all the operations supported by Whistle under Service drop-down. Select the service which you want to call and then click on Auto Create Input Variables. This will create the input variable. You will pass the input values which are required for Whistle operation to this input variable. Then click OK. To call this web service operation, add Service Operation Builder. Give operation name and then select the service which you want to execute. Verify that you structure from called action is selected under operation inputs and operation results. Click OK. Now we add AXML which contains currently name and its value which is required to our Whistle inputs. We use this service later in our consumer model to create a lookup table and that lookup table will use to create a drop down list. First we add a schema builder and add schema definition which validates our XML.
then we add a variable builder, set its type as per schema and set the initial value. If you want, pause the video here and take a look at XML and XML schema. Then add an action list which returns this variable and then add service operation builder which calls this action list. That's it. Now it's time to test our provider model. Click run button to execute the provider model. You see the two services which you just created. Click on currency converter SO to test. Pass the inputs from drop down and click submit. And you successfully get the conversion rate. Click back to test the other service. Click on get currency's name SO. Hmm. I think I made some mistake. Let's check it. Open the action list and here as you see that return type is set to object. Change this to XML set XML type from our schema and save the model. Click on run again. Verify that get currency's name SO is working fine now. Now our provider has completed, in the next part we'll see how we use this provider model in our consumer model. Thank you.